Anyone can tell you how to make tables in PowerPoint, but nobody will tell you how to make creative table in PowerPoint, how to add designings, how to add creativity in those simple table formats in PowerPoint. So this is a dedicated video on table formatting where you can add creativity so that table you are creating can look better. So hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 17th video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to make a creative table format in MS PowerPoint. So let's get into the video. So guys, as you can see, we are into our PowerPoint software. Now we are taking a blank presentation so that I can uh, show you everything from the scratch. Okay, let me just uh, change the layout to blank. Now we have to go to insert in order to add the table, right? And this is the table option. You just have to click here and here's the option by which you can uh, directly select how much cell you want, right? Like this, okay? Otherwise, you just have to click here and you can select as per your preference how many columns you want and how many rows you want. Let's say I want six columns and I want five rows like this and then hit OK and automatically your table will be added here. So this is a simple table without any settings, without any creativity. Now. We have tons of options over here, which uh, we can use in order to make our this simple table look more interesting and a little bit creative as well. Okay, so here are few options. Let me tell you one more uh, one by one about these options. This uh, these six options. So the first option is header row, and as you can see, this uh, checkbox is already checked. And if I uncheck this then the header row which is uh, this one will be unhighlighted okay and if you obviously if you want to highlight the header row you just have to click here and this will be highlighted and same goes with the total row this is the total row as you know uh, we add the total number of amount in the last one okay last row right that is why it is called total row if i select this and it will be also highlighted like this let me deselect then we have first column check this one these are the first column let's say you are creating a table for school students or for any kind of student or for any product so there you have to highlight the first row like this or you want to uh, highlight last row you can do that as well and we have two options in the end which is banded row now what is this banded row let me show you if i deselect this the this will make this chart totally simple as you can see and if i click this will darken the color of alternate rows as you can see okay and if i select columns then this will work like this this will work on column level okay and if i select both it will be looking like this okay so this was all about these table style options then we have table styles where you can choose different types of styles with different colors okay these are some dark then medium then light options let me go with this one so as you can see the inner border colors are white right now uh, i'm not liking this one uh, let me customize it a more a little bit more okay here you can see the shapes over here okay i mean here you can see the shading option where you can change the color according to your preference as i I have already shown you here these are the preset colors preset color options but after setting the option after setting the designing you can change the color as well according to your preference okay let's say i want to do like this okay now i want to change the border designing as well i am not liking the borders uh, i want solid borders okay so i will click on all borders before this, let me do one thing. Change main document. Now, it is looking good. Uh, pretty simple and sober as well. Now, let me go to border options and we have some border options over here which you can choose according to your preference. Like if you want only inside borders like this and it will darken your inside borders and if you want to change it to, let me select again and here you can 
darken the outside borders as well like this if you want to remove the top border you can do that as well so this is totally up to your preference up to your creativity that how how much creativity you want to put in into your table so that it can look uh, impressive with the data as well okay now adding these after adding these border and all we have some extra options and this is pretty creative options you can add effects to your cell as well as you can see uh, you have to see see this one this cell okay where i am uh, i have added where i have navigated my cursor okay. as you can see this is making let me zoom a little bit if you're not able to see now let me add again so you can add these kind of 3d effects to your cells as well some main key cells like this so it is also a useful option to make your uh, table look good then we have shadows like this uh, let me zoom out again because this shadow option will be applied to the whole chart as you can see like this as you can see the shadow shadow over here or you can choose other options like this or maybe something like this okay then we have reflections like this or you can add just simple small shadow like this okay so basically these are the main thing that helps chart more interesting and more creative right if you are adding these elements if you are adding these designings into your chart then this will make definitely make your chart more impressive and more attractive so this was about the table design option now let's talk about layouts in layouts we also got some pretty useful options like if you want to add some extra cells in your chart how you do that first let's just select this maybe for example i have selected this row okay i have selected this one okay so i have selected this row and i want to add one more row above uh, this row or below this row okay so how i do that first i have to select then here we have two options the first one insert above or then second one is insert below if i want to insert above just click here and as you can see one more row has been added here and if i want to insert below i just have to click and one more row will be added here okay now same goes with the columns as well you just have to select the column then you can select uh, uh, where you want to insert whether left or right just click and left or right will be added like this so this is a simple steps or simple options to add some extra columns into your chart okay now we have some merge and split options as well let's say you want to merge all these options i'm clicking i have selected the first cell then shift and right arrow key and i'm selecting all these columns okay this this is selected now and now in layout option i want to merge all these cells I just have to click merge and it is merged now. Now I can add here mark sheet. Then at the make it a little bit like this. So this is a mark sheet you can create like this. Then if you want to split your cells. So how you do that? Let's let me show an example. First let me split first. Oh uh, let me merge first, okay? I am merging these three cells. So it is merged now. as you can see this is merged now i want to split again i want to go to back i have to select that column click split cells and it will be asking that how many columns and rows you want i mean in how many rows and in how many columns you want to split that particular cell right so i want 3 because i want as it is as it was before then a row will be the same only one and then hit okay and it will be back to the previous design okay now there are some shortcuts as well like uh, i have shown you the layout options in order to add the row and columns in your chart but if you don't want to go to layout option you just do one thing select the row press right click and here is the option you can see if you want to delete you can do that as well if you want to add insert you can do that as well like just click and it will be added like this okay so i hope you understood each and everything and i hope this designing video helps you get more creative and interesting charts so do practice after watching this video 
and that's it for this video if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself and i hope you like the video i hope you understood the video and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye